Hello, I am Mangesh Gosavi. In this tutorial, I will explain you how to export your Maya scene into 3D Equalizer. It will export your cameras, objects, static mesh, and the camera locators. So first of all, you will have to download these two scripts from 3D Equalizer's official website in the script db section. You will find this Maya scene to 3D export which you will have to install in Maya and this is Maya scene to 3D import you install this in 3D equalizer I have already did that and this is my Maya scene this is this is the footage one this camera sequence one I have two cameras in the, in the second camera you will see this second footage um, this I have these objects this ground plane is a static mesh and this sphere and the cube these are the objects I'll show you the outliner now these are the two cameras, these are the locators, this is object track 1, object track 2 and the static mesh. Now we will export this. So first select the two cameras 1 and 2. Click on add multiple cameras. Here you can see the cameras get added. Camera sequence 1 and camera sequence 2. select object 1 object 2 and add it over here make sure you select the mesh the mesh of the objects first you, you selected sphere and the cube whatever you, you have selected it will export as an obj and whatever animation it contains that will be exported into the object point groups in 3d equalizer And you select individual locators add it over here don't select the group you have to select locators and then add it now you I can select the group of the static mesh and add it here if you select all individual objects it will be exported separately all the objects will be separate if you select the group then only one mesh will be exported click on export on the desktop I'll save it as export 01 now all the data is being exported in a single file Okay, and done. So let's go to the equalizer. So here I have this sequence one over here. You can see it here. Sequence two. The same footage as I have it in the equalizer. And here are the make sure you select the proper sequence like you selected cameras sequence one and then camera sequence two. So in equalizer you should have sequence one first and sequence two second. Similarly in Maya you have the object track one is the first one sphere and then the cube. So if you already have the object point groups in 3D equalizer, it should be in the same sequence. If you don't have it, then it will be created automatically. And in Maya, yeah. my first camera, it has 
dynamic focal length so it moves from 35 to 79 so in equalizer we will set the camera lens to dynamic and second one we will keep as it is then also one thing in Maya you have 40 frames in your timeline in equalizer I have 40 frames so it's better if you have the same timeline over there and here so let's see I'll import that file export 01.wasabi okay so as I have the same time range the frame offset will be zero over here and yeah if you even if you have a different time range you can still add a frame offset over here and then you can use this clip but uh, like if you have 40 frames in Maya and you have less frames in 3d equalizer then the script won't work like if you have a bigger timeline in equalizer the script will work but then you'll have to play with the offset okay so this time we'll put put it zero okay and done see you got complete scene over here you got the static mesh which is here you got the object sphere one it has the animation you got the cube over here and also you got the locators you got those points surveyed points that's it yeah one more thing uh, if you already have your 2d points with the same name in equalizer then your points will get a new 3d position according to the locators in Maya. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for watching.